Hey everybody, we're back with another lesson on on uh, building our free website with Weebly. Um, I've just logged in to my account here and what we're going to do, we have our website listed over here um, and we have the option for to edit, to view stats and more. Don't have any stats yet and we so because we haven't even finished building or publishing our site yet, we're going to go to edit and this will allow us to edit our website. If you remember last lesson, we finished off with the website planner. So it's going to allow us to move on now and to work on actually building the site itself. So I realized that I forgot one thing before we did that, before we do that. So I'm going to go back into the site planner and it says we're 70 percent done i didn't mark um i didn't go over this grow section with you so we're going to go over that now um, pick a domain allows us to choose a domain name for our website right now we are using the subdomain of the weebly website this just gives you information on choosing and registering and setting up a domain name publish when we're done our website, we can publish our website. That just tells you about publishing your website. And grow visitors. We'll give you some information on how to get visitors to your website and view the statistics. So I didn't go over that section last time, but they are obviously not marked as completed because we haven't finished those sections yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to design. And... We're going to work on our home page today. So we're going to add a headline, a description, and button text. All right, so if we scroll down here, we can also drag more elements here onto our web page. We have basic elements up here, such as a headline, a description, and button text. Um, I'll show you how to change those in a moment, but we can at any time drag more elements to this section of the website and I'm going to show you exactly what it is that you can drag down there later on so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our headline we're going to click where it says click to add a headline much like you would in a PowerPoint um, slideshow so we're going to add a title and remember I'm building this website as uh, a technical services website computer services, whatever you are building, you are going to use your information here. And I'm just going to put my title here, my business name, Scott Gardner. Actually, I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to put SG Tech Services. And a description is going to be reliable and experienced technical support for your home or business. Okay, and so there is my title and my subtitle or description. And now the, we have a button and we can have this button go to a different page. We can basically have it do many things or we can get rid of the button altogether, but what we're gonna do is we're going to edit the button text. All right, so we're going to type in get started as our button text. Now it's going to ask for a link. So we can link to a an external website. We can link to a Weebly page a Weebly store page, a file, or an email address. All right, now we obviously don't have any other pages created right now, so we're just going to cancel out of that. And we will take care of that a little bit later on. We'll probably have it linked to uh, a different page or something like that. So we have now created our home page, pretty much. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now we can change. If you notice here, we have different colors that we can choose. So let's see what happens if we click the orange color. Okay, so it's going to change the look of the text. 
So if we go blue, okay, and it, obviously it changes to base it on our theme that we already chose earlier on. Okay, so I am going to go, I believe, with this one. That one looks pretty good. Right now, remember we chose a theme earlier. We can change that at any time by clicking Change Theme here. And again, it's going to show you all of our Weebly themes. This is the one we chose initially. So if I've decided that I didn't really like that one as much as I thought, and I wanted to try a different one, let's say I am going to choose, um, I'll just pick one. Even when I'm picking one for a pretend website, it's hard to choose. There's quite a few options here. So I'm just going to go back up to the top and say, let's go with this one here. So we're going to choose that theme here and it's going to load our new theme. And here's what our website looks like right now. Not crazy about that font, but that's obviously something that we can change as well. All right. So we have successfully made some changes to our website. And now what I'm going to do next in the next video lesson is I'm going to show you how to get even deeper inside of the uh, changes that you can make and give you a little clue over here. We can change the image. We can, we can add an image. We can create an image gallery, a slideshow, contact form all kinds of stuff that we can add to our website as we go along. And we are also going to learn how to create a new page in the next lesson. So I hope you will follow me over to that next lesson.